Hey everyone, Jubin Gaming here. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, updated tutorial on how to set up a Logitech steering wheel on BeamNG Drive. In my last video, I didn't really cover everything, so in this one, I'm going to go ahead and cover those topics that I missed. So first things first, uh, you go to the first link in the description. It's called the Logitech G Hub. Click download, and then click on this thing that pops up at the bottom to install it. Now this page should come up, click install. And then this loading page should pop up. When it's finished loading, you should be greeted by a page that looks like this that says connect your Logitech gear. Ignore my mess of wires, but the next step is to get your USB from your steering wheel and connect it to your computer. My computer is pretty far, so I use this extension cable here, but just go ahead and plug it in. Then the wheel will start calibrating. Once it's done calibrating, your wheel will pop up on the G-Hub, and then we are ready to open BeamNG. You can also go ahead and minimize the G-Hub into the system tray. Once you load into BeamNG, I'm going to go ahead and click Free Roam. Then pick a map of your choice. I'm going to click grid. Once you load in, click escape. Click on options. Find controls. Then select vehicle. You should see all these um, bindings here. I'm going to teach you guys how to edit them. For the throttle binding, if you have the binding already created, which sometimes the wheel does that, I just tend to ignore that and go ahead and click create new binding. Once you click on that, don't touch any other buttons, go press the gas pedal. Once that's done, if it says output 100%, click inverted axis. Then click the pedal again to make sure. Now that the output is lined up with the, uh, the pedal, I can click apply. For the brake, do the same thing. Create new binding. Tap the brake pedal. If it says output 100%, inverted axis, then apply. Combine throttle and brake, there, we don't need to worry about that. Steering left button and steering right button, don't worry about that either. Steering axis slash mouse. This is what we need to create a binding for. Click plus, and then move your steering wheel left to right. Once this prompt pops up, make sure that the output is in line with the wheel. If it's not, click inverted axis. Mine is, so I'm not going to click that. Then click apply. I do believe we missed the clutch pedal, but it is the same process as the gas and brake pedal also. Click create new binding. Tap the clutch pedal. Inverted axis. If it's at 100, make sure it says 0. Apply. For shift up, meaning the paddle shifter, click create new binding. Then tap on the right paddle shifter. Apply. For shift down, click plus. Then click the left paddle shifter. Then click apply. Now for the gears, meaning the H pattern shifter or the stick shifter. The Logitech uh, shifter, to put it in reverse, you have to push down on the, the shifter, then move it into the sixth gear position. I have an aftermarket uh, shifter, so I just click create new binding, put it into seventh position, then put it back in neutral. Then I click apply. That goes for the Logitech um, shifter also. You want to push down on the shifter, 
move it into the 6 gear position while it's pushed down, then bring it back to neutral, and then click apply. For first gear, click create new binding, then move your stick into the first gear position. Then move it back into neutral. Once your button pops up, click apply. Repeat the same process for all the other buttons. You don't, I don't think you have to do a uh, neutral position. I think the game automatically recognizes that. Um, once you're done with that, you are free to go. I really hope my tutorial helped you guys. If it did, make sure to leave a like or a sub, or both. If uh, you have any questions, leave a comment, and I'll try and get back to you guys. Other than that, see you guys in the next one. Later.